Hello, this is Furkan from Lahore Graphics Academy and in this tutorial we will learn how to create nested navigation in React Native. This is the first and basic example so we will start by nesting stack navigation and tab navigation together. Nested navigation is super helpful in any mobile application like e-commerce apps, static web services app or school apps or anything. So let's try to create one. So the first step is to install stack navigation and tab navigation in your React Native project. In order to install the stack navigation, run this line in your command line or in your terminal and run this line to install the tab navigation. But this all has been covered in the previous tutorials. So I'm not going to repeat that. The link is in the description if you want to follow that tutorial. So follow those tutorials first if you don't know how to install stack navigation or tab navigation. So I'm going to delete these lines because these are to be written in the command line. After installing the stack and tab navigation, we will add them in our app.js file. As you can see, I've already imported the stack and tab navigation here. So let's add the handles down here. This stack and this tab, these two are the handles. One is for stack and one is for tab, obviously. So that covers our first step. We have installed stack navigation and tab navigation in our application, in our project. Let's save it to see if there are any errors. And no, there are no errors. Now let's come to step number two. The core functionality of React Navigation is to navigate between two or more screens or components. So we will create two simple components in the form of function in this same app.js file rather than separate component file so that our focus remains on the nested navigation. So let's create the two components. These are the two components that I copied and pasted here in order to save time. One is home screen and one is contact screen. Two separate components. Let's break down the code. Home screen, as the name suggests, will indicate the home component. Contact screen, as the name suggests, will um, display the contact elements. Navigation is being passed so that we can use and redirect or navigate to other components. Over here, you can see we are using it. And each screen, either it's home screen or contact screen, has two buttons. One is for home and one is for contact. So if we are at home screen, we are seeing two buttons. One is for home and one is for contact navigation. And similarly, if you are in contact screen, we are seeing two buttons, one for home and one for contact. Now that our components are in place, one is home screen, one is contact screen. Now let's use stack navigation to navigate through them. If I save the file now, Nothing will be shown. So let's make stack navigation. And that is our step number three. In step number three, we are going to register all the screens that we created in step number two, which is home screen and contact screen. And we will register them in the stack navigation. So we do not need this view, and view component. We are going to use the navigation container. And after this, we are ready to go. We have installed the stack navigation in our main project and we are using two screens, home screen and contact screen. And the component which they are directing towards is again, same as their name. Home screen is directing towards the component home screen, which is over here. And contact screen is directing towards the component contact screen, which is over here. So pretty straightforward navigation. And this is all stack navigation. We are not using tab navigation at the moment. So let's save and see what's happening. As you can see that our screen is displaying the home screen, which is the initial root. As you can see from our code, initial root name is home screen. And we have two buttons as implemented home and contact. And if we navigate through home and contact, we can see that upon pressing contact us, we are going towards the contact screen. Upon pressing up the home button, we are going to the home screen. This all is being done through the stack navigation. There is no tab navigation at the moment, which brings us to step number four, implement the tab navigation. Now that we have stack navigation in place, we have the components in place, we are navigating between home screen and contact screen. So we have to implement the bottom tab navigation. And that is done through the nesting part. So, 
In this step, we are going to create a function that holds the screen that we want to register for the tab navigation. Remember in step three, what we did? We registered the screens in stack navigation. Well, we are going to do exactly that for tab navigation now. And this new function that I'm going to create, we will call it my tab navigation. So let's create one right before the function app. Here it is. This is the function that we just created. My tab navigation. It has tab navigator, just like we have stack navigator. It has the initial route name, home screen tab, just like we have the initial route name, home screen here. And this is the entire function, just the tab navigation, that's all. But again, you can see that we have created this function, but we are not using it anywhere. If we save, we can see that there's no error, obviously, but we have to use the tab navigation. We have created the function, now we need to use it. And that is step number five, nesting the tab navigation with stack navigation. In order to nest or implement the tab navigation within the stab, stack navigation, what we have to do is take a look at the initial route name. It is saying home screen, which means that once the page loads, it will find the home screen, which is here, find the component that is that it belongs to, which is home screen again, go here and render out this view. So we need to pass a function between these steps and we have to do it with our own, our own customized function. So we are going to copy this name, my tab navigation, copy this and pass it as a component here, paste it. So now the path will be initial route name home screen. It will find the home screen in these screens. Once it finds the home screen name, it will see which component is going to be rendered. That is the My Tab Navigation. It goes over here and see what is inside this tab navigation or the function. And to its surprise, it has a tab navigation. My Tab Navigation will now see what is the initial route. Home screen tab is the initial route, which we will see here. And the component that it is rendering is home screen. So now any screen that is being rendered through the tab navigation will have the tab navigation. Let me repeat. Any screen that will be rendered by the tab navigation will have the tab navigation at the bottom. So once we save it, you can see in your screen that we have the bottom tab navigation. And if we navigate through contact and home screen, you can see that it is working perfectly fine. So we have successfully implemented stack navigation, which is behind the buttons. If you press the button, we can see the stack navigation. And if you press the bottom tab navigation, we can see that it's working fine. So in this project, we have two navigations, one is tab and one is stack. If you want to add a screen through stack navigation, you add it here. If you want to add a screen in tab navigation, it will be registered here. Just one thing to keep in mind is that any screen that is not registered in tab screen or tab navigation will not contain the tab bottom tab navigation. It will be rendered, but it will not contain the bottom tab navigation. Hope that helps and see you in a, if you have any issue or query, just write it down in the comments. I will be happy to answer in my next video. Thank you, take care.